all sincerely for being here with us today uh, to celebrate the lives of Sarah and Timothy. Uh, I'd also like to thank those of you that, that aren't here with us today for all your kind words, uh, texts, the emails, the phone calls. Uh, it has meant so much uh, to all of us, and I know how much it would have meant to Sarah and Timothy. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jonathan Stallmaker. I'm the oldest brother of Timothy. Uh, and as I attempted to find the words I'd like to say today, uh, I tried to think about the special meaning of being a brother, uh, the qualities, the characteristics, traits. I finally landed on a definition I felt was perfect. Uh, a brother is a person who is there for you when you need him, someone who picks you up when you're down, a person who sticks up for you when no one else will. Uh, but most of all, a uh, brother is your friend. And uh, my brother Timothy met each and every one of those characteristics, without exception. And he was incredibly supportive and a loving brother, son, uncle, and a friend. Um, Timothy was and always will be the baby of the three of us, despite uh, his current size later on in life. Uh, I'd, like, I'd like to say we were thrilled about having a little brother, but as we were reminisced the other day, uh, my parents reminded us that Christopher and I were, were not happy about that at all. Uh, we specifically requested a baby sister, and Timothy was not it. Uh, despite the initial lack of excitement, the three of us grew extremely close. We all played the same sports, shared a lot of the same friends, and all had a love for the outdoors. Some of my fondest memories were the Saturday hikes at Petty Jean, which usually involved Dad carrying Timothy at least one leg of the way. As the baby, Timothy was always uh, a tag along. He always wanted to be with Christopher and I. Uh, and at the time, I remember, especially looking back now, uh, how annoying I thought that was. But looking back, it was, it's, it was just him being with us, wanting to look up to us and support us. Uh, his personality was genuine and infectious. He wanted to come along because he truly loved all of, us, all of our friends as family, and, and they loved him as well. I think a lot of the support stemmed from our parents' demand for family first mentality and that we supported one another no matter the consequences. Timothy adhered to that better than any of us. He was the perfect example of what I would call a yes man. Anytime I, I called with an idea, a need, something I wanted to do, he was there. If he needed anything, he'd be there at the drop of a hat. Sometimes that wasn't the sport I needed growing up, such as the, my great idea of cutting the pull string on our mower so we didn't have to mow the lawn. <laughs> sure enough, he was right there supporting me except for those consequences. <laughs> Uh, Timothy was also very generous. He was always the most excited to watch others open gifts and found such great joy giving to others. Um, even though he knew he always wasn't the best gift giver, uh, I think all of us in the family can remember the time he gave us a, pic a framed picture of himself for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great laugh, but we knew deep down about the that all he cared about was the cherished times that we had together. Uh, Timothy was also incredibly particular, and I, and I do mean about everything. Uh, if he was involved in something, it had to be done 110%, no matter what. That included everything from cleaning his truck to projects around his newly purchased home. I'm certain he would wash and wax his truck at least once a week because he would send me pictures all throughout it and ask if I thought it was okay. Uh, his pictures were also no exception. Our cousin Allison can attest to how difficult it was to find a Timothy-approved picture. Uh, his particular characteristic translated into his relationships as well. He poured everything he had into each of his relationships. He was never involved with anyone he didn't think would be a long term. No better example of that was his relationship than was his relationship with Sarah. I'll never forget first meeting Sarah. Abby and I were at the lake with my in-laws, and our daughter saw her. She was so kind, personable, and immediately stole our hearts. She had a special connection with Sawyer. In fact, I think Timothy was a little threatened by this because he was no longer the center of attention. Sawyer began saying Sarah instead of Uncle T. Uh, and that's actually when he came up with the Uncle T chant that Sawyer still shouts today. Um, it was a joy watching their relationship grow. Everything seemed so natural as if they'd been together forever. Uh, the conversations, the laugh, everything about it. Now I have to say, those of you who knew Timothy would say sometimes he would say borderline unintelligent things. And for the sake of their relationship, I'd hope he'd keep those to a minimum. But of course, he didn't listen to me. Uh, and every time he would say one of those, uh, we'd always wait for Sarah's response. And she'd laugh and then pat him on the back and say, but you're so pretty. <laughs> uh, it was evident they were in love with each other, could be completely themselves around each other. Timothy and I often shared advice, relationship advice. And more recently, his main question was always around whether or not he was doing enough for Sarah. 
I said, well, let me know what you're, tell me what you're doing and I'll tell you what I think. He told me about his morning routine when she was on day shift. He would wake up at 5.30 in the morning before she left for work, start her car, get her coffee ready, make her breakfast, uh, and sometimes leave her a little note. Uh, I told him to stop right there because number one, you're setting the bar way too high. <laughs> uh, and second, uh, please don't tell my wife. She's <laughs> uh, but, but that was just Timothy. He would do anything for someone else, and especially if that someone else was Sarah. It was just one of the many ways he wanted to show her how much he truly loved her. Uh, one of the hardest things about today is the fact that our plans were cut short. Sarah and Timothy were two of the most fun, loving individuals I've ever had the pleasure of being around. And uh, all of you here today are a testament for that and all the lives that they touch. Uh, life changes at times radically, but the memories we make throughout our lives, they don't. We have those forever. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. Timothy wasn't perfect, as none of us are, but he was the perfect son, brother, uncle, and friend for all of us. He was generous, supportive, loving, and kind, and he poured his heart into all of his relationships and strove to make, to make the family proud in everything that he did. As an older brother, I like to think that I taught Timothy a few things, uh, but there are so many things he taught me, and I'll spend the rest of my life trying to make him proud. Uh, 